Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to use the VLOOKUP function in Excel. The VLOOKUP function allows you to go through and look through a data range to find an exact match on your value without sorting the lookup table, the data range, into any sort of order. You do need to follow a couple of rules though. They are The value you're looking up needs to be unique and doesn't appear in the lookup table more than once. That piece of information needs to be in the first column of the lookup range and you need to remember to include the true or false value at the end of the argument to specify whether you're looking for unique or nearest match records. Let's put this into practice. On screen we've got two worksheets, one called orders and one called stock numbers and both have got similar information in. The order sheet is missing quite a lot of data. So we have got stock number but we haven't got description, we haven't got product size and we've only got the order number for each month rather than the number we have in stock. So what we're going to do is to use the VLOOKUP to go through to the stock number sheet and pull back the product size and use the VLOOKUP then to calculate how many items we've got in stock. So we will put our VLOOKUP function into B3 to start with. So we're going to pull back the product information and this formula lives under formulas and lookup and reference and it is at the bottom because they're in alphabetical order. Remember in VLOOKUP the V stands for vertical so it's going to be used for columns and that's how our data is currently set up. What is the lookup value we actually want to look for? This needs to be the unique piece of information that appears in the first column of our lookup table and that's going to be stock number because that appears on both sheets. Where do we want to look for the information? Well that's going to be in our second sheet, stock numbers. And we could set this up as a named range if we wanted to, but I'm not going to do this for this exercise. I'm just going to drag over it. You can see that it's put the sheet name in and the cell reference. We then need to tell it which column index we need, want to pull back. And this is going to be looking at the column number that's got the pack size, the stock information in it. Stock number is column one because it's the first column in our lookup table. This is column two and this is column three. We don't refer to column index numbers in a VLOOKUP as A, B, C, D, E. It's always one, two, three, four. So that is going to be number three because it's in the third column we want to pull back. We come down to the range lookup and this is where we need to specify true or false. If you forget to put this in, it will put in true. And true in a VLOOKUP acts as an approximate match. So if it can't find exactly what you're looking for, it will find the nearest best match. And in most cases, that isn't going to be good enough. So we need to make sure we put in here either the word false or a zero for false so that only ever pulls back exact matches. Click on the OK button and that will pull back in our product information. To prove that this has worked correctly, we can go into stock numbers, use the find, put in 17040 and click find next. And you can see that it has pulled back one times 10 liter, which is right for that code. And you can see it's one times 10 liter on there. So it's gone through and pulled that back. Because it's a function, we can fill it down. The only thing we need to do is to make sure we lock the cell references where our information is coming from. So I'm going to do F4 in the formula bar because we didn't set a name range up and then fill it down the sheet. So that's gone through our second worksheet and pulled in all of the information based on the stock number, which means we haven't had to type it twice or copy and paste it. We can do exactly the same for pulling in the stock number for June. So back into formulas, look up and reference in VLOOKUP. What is the value we want to look up? It is still the stock number because that is unique and it's in the first column of our lookup table. What is the table or row we want to look for? That's our second sheet and we can select the area. What column number do we want to pull back? Well, we want to pull back June's stock number. So that's going to be column one, two, three, four. So we're going to type in number four in there and I'm going to put a zero into the last argument for false. So that's pulled back 4750 for that particular product. But we want to work out how much stock is left. 
So what we need to do is to click into the formula bar and minus the stock we have sold and that's the correct figure. So we can lock these cells down so they don't change and then fill it down the page. In this video we've looked at what the VLOOKUP argument is, how it can be used to pull back information from another sheet where you have a unique identifier which is in the first column of that lookup table and how useful this can be to reduce copying and pasting information between sheets.